I mean, I love a good duel. Yeah, me too. And it seems like it's an important fight. That was a pretty formal sounding intro. Uh, for sure. I mean, do we have any idea who this opponent is? Hmm, yeah, it's hard to say. I think the bigger question is why Kazuha's in a duel to begin with. Like, hmm. he's not typically the kind of guy who's out looking for fights. Uh, I wish I could tell you, but I can't. These are all fantastic questions. So travelers, be prepared to check out all the details when the story quest is live. And we still have one more screenshot, I think. Sweet. Hmm, what is going on here? Well, Kazuha's eyes are glowing purple. I mean, if it was official, I mean, purple would be fine. And it looks like he's forging a blade with a hammer here? Yeah, and, and I don't know if you noticed, but the hammer looks like it's glowing with animo power. Ooh. Some travelers might remember that Kazuha is from a family of swordsmiths and that his clan was one of the Raiden Gokuden, which were the renowned swordsmith clans in Inazuma. So maybe he's decided to take up the art of forging now? Anyway, Fun. Kazuha looks pretty serious, so it's gotta be something pretty important happening here. Well, I can't help but feel a little worried for him. I mean, I hope he'll be all right. Well, one thing I can say is that with the Traveler by his side, I'm sure we'll be in for an exciting ride. Rhymes! That rhymes. <laughs> been spending too much time with Kazuha, sorry, it's in my, You're it's in a my, poet. It's in my veins. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all we can share for now. The version update will be featuring Act 1 of Kazuha's all-new story quest, Acer Palmatum Chapter. I can't wait for travelers to dig deeper into the story with Kazuha. Yeah, and this bubble also contains info on another character appearing in version 2.8. That's right. Here we have Kazuha's good buddy, fellow Animo Vision holder, and renowned Tenryo detective, Shikanoin Heizo. Oh, so they're buds. You bet. Mm. Sweet. Indeed. Uh, he's adorable. <laughs> right, there he is. Check it out. He's got those determined eyes. Look at that wry mm. smile. Total detective. <laughs> he looks Pretty cool. He's ready to battle. Nice and breezy for Animo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you gotta keep cool when you're fighting, man. You do, you do. True. Well, <laughs> since Heizo and Kazuha are buds, I think we can let Mark introduce Heizo for us. I would love to. Heizo has quite the reputation and is the center of many stories circulating around Inazuma, which is no surprise, given that the police station's jail is crammed with criminal masterminds who were all tracked down and caught by Heizo. So you could say that he is a genius crime solver, and as a detective, it's Heizo's hope that his name would spread all across Inazuma. Though that might kind of sound like he's all about chasing fame, his real ambitions come from his views about crime. Okay, so what do you mean by that? Yeah. I'm glad you asked, Zach. <laughs> uh, though he has this uncanny crime-solving skills, the vast majority of the work as a detective happens only after a crime, meaning that the pain and the damage of the crime has already been done, which is not always reversible. To Heizo, you only become a true detective when your reputation is strong enough to make a person think twice before committing a crime, for fear of being caught. That's when the role of a detective has really overcome the power of crime and is preventing cases rather than only cleaning up the aftermath. That is so fancy. <laughs> I mean, you gotta hand it to him. Absolutely, and with these ideas in mind, Hazo has even refused promotions because he wants to stay close to the crime scenes. Mm. He believes his place is on the front line. So for outsiders, it looks kind of unfair that such a talent should stay at the bottom of the ladder. Uh, Heizo's distant cousin, Kano Nana, has always thought that he deserved to be promoted for his work. Yeah, I can totally get why she feels that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, and speaking of detectives, I bet Heizo knows Detective Sango too, right? Yes, he does, in fact. Uh, Sango and Heizo have collaborated in the past, but let's just say they ended up going their separate ways. Mmm, it sounds like Heizo is kind of like a lonely prodigy that sticks to his own ideals. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like that too. Very moody there, yeah. But mm -hmm. he's not all that lonely. I mean, he does have Kazuha as a friend. 
the one. Right. <laughs> so how did the two of them meet? <laughs> well, Kazuha has helped Heizo in the past, using his attunement to nature. And with Heizo's sharp intuition, I guess you could say that there's a sort of a natural understanding between the two animal wielders. Oh, and you shouldn't forget Kujo Sara either. She thinks pretty highly of Heizo. Getting Kujo Sara's approval definitely can't be easy, so... I guess that's saying something about Heizo. Yeah, well, to be honest, even though Sara acknowledges Heizo's abilities, I think his tendency to not follow rules and roam about. Hey yo, welcome to my channel, guys. The last stream is oh. After all, Heizo has his own way of doing things. And he's never in the office. And introducing the Heizo, the new character. Responsibilities at the station. Instead, he's always off somewhere investing. Okay, why I'm playing the game right now? You just watch this. You just watch the trailer and the thing in the live stream. With that uh, smirky face. So, <laughs> you can only imagine what kind of headaches a subordinate like him would cause for a serious leader like Kujo. Uh. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think I get the picture now. <laughs> You and know, now the I'm things sure that cool my room we <laughs> broke down so i don't know why it's not functioning let's take a look at and now my action. room becoming let's hot again oh yeah uh, becoming hot again there's I something in the air oh gameplay something that tells me a new case is brewing Incredible. He makes it look effortless. <laughs> I'm absolutely loving this move set. Wow, he's cool. And that voice. Wish that was me. I mean, he's so cool, confident, and mysterious. I love it. Right, really sleuthy, yeah? Okay, so jumping right in, Shikanoi Hezo wields a catalyst and carries an animo vision. Interesting. He's like a melee catalyst user, right? We've never even seen this before. No, it's super cool. And Hazo inherited his fighting style and knowledge from his dad. But Ooh, in reality, from his dad. Hazo prefers to that use his mind rather than his physical strength and restrains from using force whenever possible. Well, that makes sense. Right. You don't want to jump to conclusions. <laughs> However, when investigating criminal <laughs> cases, there will always <laughs> inevitably be some criminals who won't go down without a fight. Hazo is unhappy whenever he's faced with such moments, but he definitely <laughs> knows how to put his agile skills to good work on the battlefield. And in addition to his normal recharged attacks, his elemental skill is also an unarmed technique. Something cool about Hazo's elemental skill is that it can be held for a charging effect, which will grant him special declension stats. Once Hazo reaches a certain amount of declension stats, his elemental skill's damage and AoE increase, which will definitely impact the fight in a big way. Sounds like trying to be smart. Hazo is probably a bad idea. Yeah. Oh yeah. Not a good one at all. When Hazo's opponents try to make a break for it and scatter in all directions, Hazo will unleash his Wind Buster kick, leaping into the air and kicking something called a Pluto-style Vacuum Slugger towards his enemies. The Vacuum Slugger will explode upon impact, dealing AoE ammo vacuum damage, slugger. And creating a vacuum that pulls in That's nearby interesting opponents name. in traditional animal style. Also, when the Vacuum Slugger hits opponents affected by Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro, it causes a delayed follow-up explosion, dealing damage of the corresponding elemental type. Hmm. Yeah, I really like how his burst has that delayed explosion effect. Just when you think it's over, boom. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, with Hazo's guidance, he decreases sprinting stamina consumption for other party members, allowing your team to catch even the swiftest of criminals without breaking a sweat. Oh man, Hazo sounds like such a cool character. Yeah, he totally does. And I'm sure everyone's waiting to know how they can get Hazo. But of course, Hazo will yeah, be available via a new event wish in the early part of version 2.8. And speaking of cool characters, Kazuha, Klee, and Yoimiya will also be making a return in their very own event wishes. And finally, travelers can look forward to Hazo's very own hangout event. If you'd like to join Hazo in being a detective for a day, then you definitely should check this out. Oh, I will. <laughs>
All right, well, it seems like we've covered everything in this bubble. Next, we have... Oh, it looks so pretty. Right. This is a scene from the all-new Summertime Odyssey event. Mmm. Oh, so I really great. like how bright and open it is. So pretty. Oh, and do you see the flowers on the ground? What's with those? Oh, cool. I don't know. And uh, maybe it's like some kind of mechanism or something. Yeah. So this part is connected with Shinya. If you remember the preview oh. image we saw at the start of the program, the island area has some secret connections to each of the characters that were shown there. Nice. Okay, well, let's see what happens when you interact with this instrument. It looks like it created a wind current or something. <laughs> it most certainly did. <laughs> After activating the wind current and gliding up, your plunging attack will deal considerable damage, which I think is going to come in pretty handy throughout this challenge. Hmm. It appears that travelers can choose an instrument to trigger the desired effect. So keep that in mind to quickly defeat enemies. Yep, put them down. Man, this place feels like a real combat zone. And judging from the surrounding area, I guess we'll need to use these mechanics to complete the challenge. Oh yeah, and in such an open area, travelers can quickly test out a variety of effects. Hmm. Nice work. So we'll receive some items which can be used in the event shop to exchange for goods. Once you've collected enough items, you can invite Fischl to join your team. Yeah, no, I mean, it never hurts to have on your team. And I want if to you see my Fischl constellation. You know, Oz is going to be there right beside her. Yep, that's right. <laughs> In addition to domains, the summertime Oh, I need another two Fischl. Two Fischl, only two. Fun. Nice. Oh, there's some green spheres Forget on the course. Can you tell Fischl. us about what those do, Zach? Totally. Those are energy orbs. Travelers can use an ability to help them collect more. Oh, I see. So after collecting a few orbs, it looks like another ability is charged up. Oh, cool. It's a speed burst? <laughs> wow, you can even break through obstacles. I'm sure that's a good way to make some shortcuts. So, can you break through everything on the course? Uh, oh, no. No, it seems there are still some obstacles you cannot get through. Yeah. Yeah, so some obstacles will require timing, and others are too strong to break through. Nice. All right, let's see how long it took to get to the finishing point. <laughs> Not too bad. <laughs> nice. Summertime Odyssey will also feature tons of other content and storylines for travelers to explore. So... Be sure to check it out. All right, we've already covered tons of new content, so I think it's about time for another quick break. Yep, which means it's time for another redemption code. What, redemption what? code. Oh, they already have second. So Kazuha, that's me. Kazuha and Klee have the same time of banner, right? so I'm gonna wish on Flea banner. Because why not? If I don't get three, I get Yoimiya. Because why not? <laughs> because both character I don't have yet. If I wish on Kazuha, Constellation 1, let me see. Decrease cooldown using reset. Using that one, reset. Hmm. I think it's okay, but it's not important for the C1 Kazuha. It's not really a must-have. I'm gonna wish on Lee Banner. Welcome back, everyone! We've seen some of the islands already, but let's dive into what other events travelers can expect to see from the beautiful island area. First on the list is a challenge event called Reminiscent Regimen. What's unique about this one is that it will be a co-op specific event. Co-op? Oh, Aw yeah. The event will include multiple different game modes, so we'll start with the one called Convoy. Fine, okay, so it looks like we have a pretty big raft here. It's adorable. It is, right? And so the goal of Convoy is to protect the vessel to its destination. Let's do this! Nice, here we go. Ah, and of course there are hilly trails attacking that we're gonna need to take care of. Help All me, right. Mark! Help me! Oh. <laughs> I'm right there by your side, buddy! <laughs> uh, 
and I guess there are some barriers that are blocking the way. Uh, it seems we'll need to destroy them to clear a path for the raft. Right, and it looks like the raft's energy is continuously dropping, so we need to collect these glowing coins to recover energy. Mm. Gotta be quick on your feet, or quick with the wings. And we're on the way again! Oh, hey, ether fell in the water. Hydro Traveler? One day. It looks like you're gonna need to be more careful and avoid falling in. Being a bird has its benefits, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a lot to handle, and we have to glide everywhere. But it seems we've managed to reach the destination. Yay! Woo! Yo, know, actually, it's a lot of fun to participate in co-op games where people have to work together, you know? That mm -hmm. team spirit. Yeah. Totally. In addition to this game mode, we'll also have two other modes called Raid and Descent. Yes! In Raid, we'll need to navigate your Wave Rider and board floating platforms to battle opponents. Mm-hmm. And it seems like we'll need a way to fly. So travelers will have to sail through all the marked locations before the wind currents will activate. <gasps> and finally, in Descent, travelers will start from a platform high in the sky and battle their way down. I love flying! And battling my way huh? down. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> on the next floating <laughs> <platform>. <laughs> only appear once you have cleared the opponents on the <laughs> I have a feeling that this event is going to lead to a lot of ridiculous <laughs> moments between teammates. <laughs> yeah, oh, for sure. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> you Jinx, my... you owe me another soda. <laughs> no, I have no sodas to give. <laughs> Anyways, I hope everyone will enjoy these yeah. cool co op events. Yeah. Woo! And I hope everyone has their gliding license up to date. Ooh, gotta check on that. <laughs> okay, now that we've covered the challenge event, let's have a look at another event coming to the island area called Resonating Visions. Ooh. Ah, cool. This event will bring some familiar vibes for experienced players who explored the islands last year. <gasps> That's right, we'll be searching for. Wait, what? Wait, when? Oh no 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 no! Why the live stream is going back to Klee? seen some of the islands already but let's dive into what other events travelers can expect to see Wait, in the we gonna... island area first on the list is <laughs> we a gonna... challenge event called oh boy regiment what's unique about this one is that it will be a co-op specific event Ooh, nice party yes. time oh yeah the event will include oh, multiple it, different it's game a new modes, one so oh we'll start with okay, the okay, one okay. called convoy Oh no, it's not a new one. Fine, okay, so it looks like we have a pretty big raft here. It's adorable. It is, right? And so the goal of Convoy is to protect the vessel to its destination. Let's do this. Nice, here we go. Ah, and of course there are hilly trails attacking that we're gonna need to take care of. Help right. me, Mark, help me. Oh. <laughs> I'm right there by your side, buddy. <laughs> Uh, and I guess there are some barriers that are blocking the way. Uh, it seems we'll need to destroy them to clear a path for the raft. Right, and it looks like the raft's energy is continuously dropping, so we need to collect these glowing coins to recover energy. Mm. Gotta be quick on your feet or quick with the wings. And we're on the way again! Oh, hey, ether fell in the water. Hydro Traveler? One day. <laughs> It looks like you're gonna need to be more careful and avoid falling in. Being a bird has its benefits, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a lot to handle, and we have to glide everywhere. But it seems we've managed to reach the destination. Yay! 
Woo! You know, actually, it's a lot of fun to participate in co-op games where people have to work together, you know? That team spirit. Yeah. Totally. In addition to this game mode, we'll also have two other modes called Raid and Descent. Yes. In Raid, we'll need to navigate the Wave Rider and board floating platforms to battle opponents. <laughs> and it seems like you'll need a way to fly. So travelers will have to sail through all the marked locations before the wind currents will activate. <gasps> and finally, in Descent. Travelers will start from a platform high in the sky and battle their way down. I love flying and battling my way down. Yeah. <laughs> bow, bow. That's right. <laughs> opponents on the next floating platform will only appear once you have cleared the opponents on the current floating platform. You know, I have a feeling that this event is going to lead to a lot of ridiculous moments between teammates. Yeah, for oh, sure. sure. Totally. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me another soda. No, I have no <laughs> sodas to give. Anyways, I hope everyone will enjoy these cool co-op events. Woo! And I hope everyone has their gliding license up to date. Ooh, gotta <laughs> check on that. Okay, now that we've covered the challenge event, let's have a look at another event coming to the island area called Resonating Visions. Are we threatening a loop? Ah, uh, cool. This event will bring some familiar we'll vibes for experienced players who explored the islands again. last year. That's right, we'll be searching for conches that contain stories again. Oh, nice. So as travelers are out enjoying the, the island sun and exploring the map, they can also work on collecting conches. Oh. Travelers are out enjoying the island sun and exploring the map. They can also work on collecting conches. Oh, so it seems each conch will contain different pieces of a story. And once you've collected them all, you can listen and see what story is revealed. I'm really curious to know what kind of stories we'll be hearing from the conches this time around. And just like last time, this event will also be giving players the opportunity to unlock a new outfit. Oh, yeah. Weird, I guess. Who's getting a new outfit this time? Just say it. <laughs> Fischl! That's right, in version 2.8, Fischl will be getting an all-new outfit. Ah, yay! Woohoo! <laughs> uh, that crown is every... And, just like last... ...tain different pieces of... Year. That's right, we'll be searching for conches that contain stories again. Whoa, what happened, oh, nice. bro? What so happened? as travelers are out enjoying the island sun and exploring the map, they can also work on collecting <laughs> conches. Oh, so it seems we're each stuck in the loop. We stuck in the loop. The story. And once you've collected them all, Bro. you can listen and see what story what is happened revealed. To the special I'm program. really curious to know what kind of stories we'll be hearing from the conches this time around. And just like last time, this event will also be giving players the opportunity to unlock a new outfit. Oh. I guess who's getting a new outfit this time? <laughs> Fischl! That's right, in version 2.8, Fischl will be getting an all-new outfit. Ah, yay! That <laughs> crown is everything. <laughs> totally fit for a I mean, look at her red eye. I don't know if you guys noticed that. No. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, I don't know. I guess you're going to have to play to find out. And after completing the requirements of the event, travelers will be able to snag the snazzy new outfit for free. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Nothing more beautiful than playing on some warm tropical islands. We've got fun events, tons of awards, so I think it's going to be a blast. We've heard, though, that the islands have undergone some interesting changes since the last time we visited with Klee. There will be fresh exploration mechanics to try, so travelers can look forward to an updated island experience. I hope everyone will have fun and have beautiful memories visiting the islands again. Can't wait to go back. In addition to the island events, version 2.8 will also be featuring a variety of other updates. Five star deluxe skin, bro. We will also be receiving a new outfit, which will be available to purchase in the shop. Travelers can learn the backstory behind the outfit, which is super cool, by playing through the Hidden Stripe Challenge event. I am living for that ponytail. <laughs> All right. The new hair, sharp tails, looks epic. That red and black color scheme is awesome. Yeah. So good. And as a matter of fact, this will be the game's first ever five-star outfit. Wait, but we already have outfits for Jean and Kutching, though. Right, but this outfit itself is five stars. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. So let's take a look at what travelers can expect to see in the Hidden Stripe event. So it looks like we can try out Diluc's new outfit. 
Looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, so the costume has some new effects for D-Luke. Indeed it does. There's even a new idol animation included with this costume, and it's pretty sweet. I don't see D-Luke's vision anywhere on this outfit. Huh. So, uh, does he keep it in his pocket, or maybe it's tucked away somewhere else? <laughs> um, don't look at me. But it looks like there will be lots of backstory to go along with the outfit, so be sure to check that out. Interesting. So, in addition to the backstory well, content, well, what kind of challenges can travelers well, expect? Well, well, it'll be similar to the Phantom Flow event that we've had before, with a variety of set objectives for travelers to reach. So, after completing an objective, a special after-imaged might effect will be unlocked, which will add buffs for the next battles. Nice. Next, version 2.8 will have an event that's all about fears and components. It's called Evermotion Mechanical <laughs> This one looks really interesting. <laughs> So it looks like we need to take the components and place them on this mechanical board. Yeah. You know, all this mechanical stuff reminds me of things we've seen from Fontaine before. Huh. I think you might be right about that one. Okay. It seems like the gears need to fit together. Oh, nice. They're starting to rotate now. Hey, that didn't look too hard. But, yeah, uh, I'm guessing the later stages of the event probably won't be so simple. Right, right, yeah, this one looks like it's separated into an upper and lower level, so that's gonna be a little bit tougher. Travelers will have to think about how to move the gears on different levels. Oh, neat, there's even gears made for two levels. Uh, these are gonna be tricky to solve. Speaking of which, we probably shouldn't show the players too much gameplay here. We don't want to do the posters for everyone. Nobody knows why everyone watched us all here. What Brittany needs to say is, she has no idea how to solve the puzzle. <laughs> all right, then. I thought you were done talking. Yeah. You, nope. <clears throat> Okay, I believe we've covered most of the main content travelers can expect in version 2.8. Which means it's probably time to take another quick break. Mm -hmm. And another quick break means another redemption code! Yeah. And just as a reminder, we'll still have some exciting info following the break, so be sure to stick around. Shikano in Heizu. Nice one. Before we reach the end of today's program, we have another special announcement to share with everybody. Mm-hmm, that's right. There will be a new addition to the game's soundtrack. Genshin Impact's commemorative OST album, The Shimmering Voyage Volume 2, will be released soon. And this particular album contains many memorable pieces of music from the game, including music from the moment Kazuha blocks the Shogun's Muso no Hitotachi. We also have a trailer for the new soundtrack. Let's take a look. A new soundtrack? you guys but I think there's so much to look forward to coming in version 2.8 oh yeah I am officially super excited about version 2.8 see what yes. I did there yes. uh, <laughs> especially all the cool new outfits 
Yeah, oh, I'm so excited for every motion mechanical painting and checking out the islands and conquering all of the puzzles in these upcoming events. You will leave no puzzle undone. <laughs> no puzzle. <laughs> Yeah, I just want to say I'm super excited to be here with Brittany and Ben on what is our first appearance on the program. So thank you so much for having us. And uh, I you can't wait. Awesome. 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 No, you're awesome. No, you're awesome. <laughs> no, you're awesome. <laughs> you're awesome. Uh, look at us, big family. And we can't forget our special plushie, Ben. How was your first special program? Uh, all right, and that just about does it for today's special program. Travelers can keep an eye out for future official announcements to get more information on version 2.8. You can. That's it. See you in game. Later, y'all. Bye. The sunshine makes the sandy beaches here glow like the embers of a pirate's line. And next to the cool, sparkling water, look at you. If only the desert sand and the jungle could get along like this. That would be perfect. Oh, you can hear me? How curious. Yeah. Huh? You say you're a traveler? Well then, wait, 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 wait. maybe I can offer you a bit of knowledge. And in return, that sound you can tell me your story. Sound of... Usanami? Right. Oh, Sumeru! <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We got Sumeru, bro. What? And we got... Be oh. What happened to the live stream? We just keep looping around like that. Wait, what? And it ended? <laughs> I want some air teaser. Alright, alright. I'm, I'm back. Uh, let's go back to my in game. What happened, bro? The Sumeru teaser is just. Why? It's... I don't know what's happening to the last stream, bro. <laughs> and it's not just do the same thing. I don't know why. Is it a bug? Doing that. You know, I'm riding it, bro. <laughs> Literally. I'm gonna rewatch the live stream in YouTube because of the last teaser of Sumeru is interrupted. I don't know why the English live stream is like this. You just this uh, Sumeru, and then you just. Oh man. <laughs> Hmm. 
But it is a nice live stream. I'm going to close. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty, very eddy. Or flowers or fruit. That's not a flower, let's collect a flower. Mm. Let's go here, they have this one has fruit, right? I draw slam nearby, no. Pyro Hydro Electro. Oh, I 
I want to get fire. Uh, it's already full, so you can only do one. So this one will determine the color, right? I think. So let's get a blue one. Wait. Guys, am I nothing to you guys? Interesting. Oh, yes. We need to defeat some. Let's see the. The easiest one is slime. We cannot do the cryo one, right? Slime, slime, slime. The nearest slime. Is there any slime here? Uh, here, Sangonomia. I can't remember which one I've seen. I remember clearly at this one, Liyue. The this one. This one is the easiest one. We got an electro. And we got the yeah. Oh nice, we got it. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I just watched the ending of the Stranger Things season 4. Spoiler alert, which have the cliffhanger again. to create using that machine okay hey I said okay not in kind of me bro Bruh. Oh, not you. I like to pick a toy to keep. Oh, what is this? Oh, 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 that's how you get the things. We got a mirror pool owl horn which has the dancing one. Nice. Let's create another. Oh you can have a freestyle. Oh this one is a freestyle. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Who want the dancing one?
We can only pick one, okay. Flow fire, thunder ring, and mirror pool. So mirror pool, I collect what ore, rather than ore, I collect more ore. I think ore is three, I think, and fruit is three. So I got this one mirror pool, and I use more of water. And I get this horn owls. What about three pet? I, I want this three pet. Okay. So let's collect some. Let's collect some flower. Mm. Oh yeah. Boy yeah, boy yeah, boy yeah, no. Oh, it's not considered as flower. Pinecon? Pinecon of fruit? Hmm. So I collect flower and fruit. Pyro, electro. Mm. Hmm. Um, let's try Electro Let's try fire, fire, fire. You have some fire, right? Huh? Don't burn yourself, bro. Wait, 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 we're gonna change equipment, please. Maybe we get a fire one flimbers. <laughs> what about fighting hypostasis? Does it consider Hypostasis. <laughs> it is an elemental life form, right? <laughs> Other than slime. We're gonna triple cryo it. Quick set up. Thank you. 
Let's go back to bed train. Bed train. Ooh, we got a traveling one. Oh yeah. Exchange three test product. Okay. I want this. I want this one. I want this one. So if you want the on owl, you need. I think you need uh some ore, which is mining. You need to mine something. <laughs> or with fruit, I think. Yeah, I think that's how you get it. The things that you want. But there's no all right here right now. <laughs> I didn't do anything. You just run away. I'm gonna take some lily, bless lily. Above this, okay, interesting. Oh, that's a bug. <laughs> okay, makes sense. Superhero landing. I think that's all for today because I just wasted 
the rest scene on another Wicked, on another open world boss. I need to fight the snake again, but yeah. You want to beat the hypostasis? And I collect the reward after fighting the hypostasis. Oh man, never mind that. Let's just end this today live stream. Oh, by the way, I want to do the redemption code. Let me do it first. If... Let's go redemption code. Nice one. Two. Three. Let's should do it. Oh, we got a Hazel voiceover. We cheese. Wait. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the character in anime that he voiced. <laughs> Kyuyu yeah, I'm disappointed of this today live stream because I don't know what happened. Shikano in Heiser. We got official official skin. Maybe I will go back playing as official. Oh, we got a Sumeru drip. That's not in the la English live stream. That's great. That's great. Sumeru. Wow. Wow. Ooh. Tana to sake o teni kisuki o tanno shiyo to shita ga. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let's go back to the game. One, two, three, that's great. I'm gonna get chicken and Heizu next. On the head, so, 10 pool, which is 1,600, so times 2, which is 3,200, so I can get 20 pools. Oh, that's great, that's great. Why not, right? 20 pools? Oh, they're terrified. Alright, right. they're terrified of me. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, 
I need to see the drip marketing for Sumeru I need, I need to see it. Did I already buy the ubiquity net? I don't remember. Oh, not yet. Okay, let's buy it. Let us waste our Mora! Mora! Already, already, guys. That's over today, guys. Thank you for joining my stream. Tomorrow is the last day I'm using this razor as my DPS. So, thank you guys for joining my stream. I hope to see you guys again tomorrow at the same time at the same place. If you have some free time, you can rewatch my recorded live stream on my Twitch or my Twitch channel. And stay safe, stay healthy, and get vaccinated, guys. Peace out. Have a good day. Bye bye. Yeah.